What is going on guys? Nonstop here and got another gameplay commentary for you guys today. And this is 111.5 Ground War Domination on Raid. And I believe I actually had a subscriber in this gameplay, which actually was pretty awesome because I think after I got this game, I, s I got a message from, I think, someone who was on the other team uh, asking if I was going to post this gameplay. I was like, oh, I must have had a subscriber or something. And uh, I was like, I don't think I ever responded back because, I don't know, I just, I'm just i just a little bit lazy like on responding to PSN messages because it takes so long to type type something out if you don't have a keyboard. But, yeah, and I actually think I saw some other message on a couple of my, I guess, older videos asking if I was going to post this gameplay. And so here it is, here it is for you, uh, person, I don't, I don't remember like what his name was, but I'm pretty sure he was on the other team, but not too sure why he was actually... Uh, wanting to see the gameplay but I don't think I don't think I would if I if I didn't do YouTube and uh, I got a hundred and eleven kills got on me that I would want to see it up but I don't know I doubt I doubt many people would know who he is and so would message him at all but anyways uh, kind of an older setup uh, for guns and whatnot I think I'm using PDW with laser sight silencer and fast mags which as you guys know I don't really use that anymore this is I think gameplay is like about a week old again I know I know I probably should get some newer gameplays, but I've been kind of busy, busy with the old uh, college, the college and kind of getting ready for finals and getting stuff that needs to be taken care of. I actually have been really busy with uh, my computer engineering class because, uh, as you guys know, as for some of you guys that don't know, because I've got a bunch of new subscribers, I'm a software engineer, so I take a lot of uh, like computer engineering, uh, computer science, and all those different types of classes. And in my computer engineering class, I'm actually working on a final project right now. That I think that's due. It's due next week sometime, but I think we're going to try and uh, turn it in a little bit early because we actually get... There's actually some incentive to doing it earlier, and so we're going to be doing that. But anyways, in this class, in this computer engineering class, you end up actually programming a robot to uh, act like a Mars rover. So uh, it basically takes keystrokes from the computer, uh, and it does certain types of actions, like moving forward and turning, turning, like uh, rotating itself. And you can change like how fast it wants to move, and you can move it forward and backward. And also it has all sorts of different types of sensors, like it has an infrared sensor to, to detect distances, and also has a sonar sensor to detect distances as well. And those kind of, those vary, and you, you use those to detect, detect objects, because what, it, what you end up have, having to do uh, is uh, place, this robot gets placed inside of a kind of a sealed off area, and you can't see it. And what you have to do is navigate through this area to a safe area that's kind of marked by these uh, skinny pylons that you can uh, you can kind of get the uh, diameter of this from the IR and the sonar sensors. And so there'll, there'll be all sorts of other like larger pylons in there. And also there'll be like holes removed from the ground because you have uh, you have cliff sensors on the bottom of the robot that detects if there's like a dropout and you can through programming it which I've actually done uh, you can uh, stop the robot from moving if it detects that this this gets activated or this bit in the whatever this sensor gets activated which is actually pretty cool I, I did most of the programming on the robot so it's kind of it's like my baby it's my baby it's my baby program but uh, yeah it's kind of a good feeling when you uh, I guess design something yourself and you got something to show for it but uh, yeah, so you basically like just input these things all on the keyboard through like uh, I think I had it as WASD and then obviously numbers for inputting like how fast you want to move the robot and also there's uh, I have some buttons for uh, scanning the area with the sonar and the IR sensors so it's really really cool and then of course I, ha I I'm able to display all the sensors on the robot at at, at a moment's notice but. Uh, yeah, so I think I might actually make a video on that because that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you guys think it's cool or not. You can let me know in the comments because I guess uh, that'd be a good indicator um, if people actually want to see that because that'll definitely show if I'm a nerd or not and you guys just really don't care and you just want to see Call of Duty videos and whatnot. Don't want to see my cool little robot that I program to do, to do all sorts of things. But uh, anyways, uh, back to the gameplay because... I wanted to kind of bring up the point of how I made a mistake right here. I think I actually, I, as you noticed, I just overlapped my swarm. I didn't call it in at the beginning of the round because I wanted to, I guess, kind of space out my dogs and my swarm. And I think I just ended up forgetting about calling in my swarm, and so I actually overlapped them, 
which is kind of disappointing to me. I wish I wouldn't have done that because I think I would have. This probably could have been a way better game if I would have had whatever two swarms in this round, and then that probably those that probably would have earned me another one as well, honestly. So I would have probably three in total, which been a killer round in my opinion. But yeah, that was a pretty big mistake by me. And then I think I also had other ones where I like captured. I tried capturing a flag and I wasn't paying attention at all. Kind of like in the same situation here, but I think this ended up working for me. But yeah, kind of disappointing. I kind of wish uh, that if you earned, after you earn, I wish that the kill streaks wouldn't overlap like that, where it kind of over overwrite uh, the previous one you earned. But uh, I think that could kind of be abused because people could save up just a bunch of kill streaks and then call them all in all in at once and just earn tons of points on all of them. But I don't know. I think. This is the end of the gameplay here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry for rambling on about uh, my programming a robot and whatnot. I know that might not be the most interesting in the world. But 111.5, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.